Hello. Still got people coming in, so how's everyone today? I've been really tired today, but I've got quite a bit of I've done some research, I've been looking up on the I knew what was gonna happen in the case of Joe Slater would happen. I knew it. But we'll talk about that in a minute. How's your day been? Hope you've all had a lovely day, a lovely Sunday. Have you spent it on your own? Have you spent it with family? I remember when I used to love my Sundays because I'd do a lovely roast dinner, the full roast dinner, like be it roast beef or lamb or chicken with all the roast potatoes and the boiled potatoes or mashed potatoes and all the veg and the stuffing. And if we had beef, we'd have a uh, Yorkshire puddings, if we had lamb, we'd have the mint sauce. Oh my God, I used to love my Sunday dinners. I still do. But now that I live on my own, I don't do Sunday dinners. So when I get a chance, of when I visit my son or my daughter and they say, we're having a roast dinner, Mum. Oh, yeah, go for it. <laughs> do you want to stop for dinner, Mum? We're having a roast dinner. Yep, I'll stop. Don't have to ask me twice if you're having a roast. Right, so, oh, God. I don't know what's going on in the flat next door to me. It's supposed to be empty. But, Christ, I've heard some bumping and thumping going on in that block, in that flat today. Even my cat sat here by me because I was on my laptop doing some transcripts. And I've looked down to my cat who's sitting by the door and he's looking up at the wall opposite the wall adjoining the other flat. And it's like, I went, yeah, okay, Bobby. And he's going, gave me this look. I said, what the hell is going on? <laughs> I think he thought the wall was going to come through at one stage. And I'd just like to say thank you to all those on X that are here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's obvious that you're following this Jay Slater case. Let's put this picture up there, you don't want to see that. That's it, that's it, we're here for, we're here for him. I'm going, um, yeah. Uh, let's do this one. Okay, okay, can you have a camera that one, do I? Oh, <laughs> God, I'm trying to sort some out here. Uh, yeah, it's this one I want. When we come back. So, he's now been missing, what, 13 days? 13, 14 days? I can't keep track of it all. But we, deep down, we all knew the, the search would have to come to an end eventually. And yet, I've been watching some channels today, and they're all blaming um, that, they're blaming that one guy, Rapid, whatever his name is, who's out there doing the search by saying what he did on his uh, inst um, TikTok account. Well, I'm sorry, he's only saying what he sees and how he feels. And if he thinks I'm just standing around chit chatting or sitting in the cars and not actually doing a search, then he'll say that. And then they're trying to say, uh, who else was he? Oh, God. Oh, that investigator who went over. I can I can solve this diet case in three days. I must admit, that was talking crap. That's crap. If you can solve a case in three days, why aren't you working with our police and solving a lot more of our ki cases in the UK? Come on. Right, so just waiting because people are still coming in. Uh, 
People are still coming in. This is a channel with no drama. But I will give you my opinion. You may not like it. But it's my opinion. Everything said on this channel, please don't go out and repeat it. Please do your research first. Do your fact checks. Because some of the information I get is not always true. Might be not not quite right. So check before you go out start saying anything or whatever. Do your own checks. Right? Um Christ, changing one from Twitter. Thank you. Oh God, it's still going up. Still got people coming in. Um God. Okay, right. As I said, um, we're here for Jay Slater. And today, it was, or was it yesterday? Today, I, I believe it was today. Yeah, the search has been scaled back. Now, God, people are still coming in. <laughs> thank you, everyone, for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God, it's so warm in this flat. I've got my, I can't have my window fully open because my, I'm on the quite high up, and I've got two cats. I'm not taking a chance that they go on their little rampage where they use my living room as an assault course, and they go speeding around my living room up onto my window everywhere. And one of these days, I could have that window wide open, they'd go flying out of it. And I don't want that. Christ. Anyway. So. I've got my Rubicon. It's a spring orange mango water. Spring water with fruit juice. With natural flavours and vitamins. Does it calm you down? Does it keep me calm? <laughs> because when certain people are mentioned, then I have to mention certain people, the BS monitor goes up. Right. Oh, God, it's still coming in. It's still coming in. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. I really do appreciate you all being here. Did you notice I just said young? Yeah, 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 all being here. That's the American slang. That's how many American YouTube channels I watch and what I listen to every day. Yeah. Instead of you all or you, it's yeah, yeah. Yeah, something like that. I can't bring it. It's Y apostrophe A L R. Right, and that's what the Americans say. And the other guy I was talking, and I come up and I said something, and it was in the YouTube slang. Right, I'm like, sorry, I'm just so used to using those words when I'm on YouTube, but now when I'm out in public, I'm actually using the words. So, they're scaling it back. And we knew it, um, knew it would. So let's just have a look. Let's see what they have to say. Update. Behave. Behave, both of you. Right, uh, uh... See, there's still, a lot of people still go on about that attack he was involved in. Now, um, yes, it should, they should have been punished a lot s stronger than what there was. They should have. But, I don't know. I don't think it's got anything to do with him going missing. However, 
right? There's rumour. I repeat, it's a rumour. Right? That someone had their watch stolen. And I don't know if I take this down. Someone had their watch stolen. It was reported. It was the police did know about it. And this was like two weeks ago. This was reported. And yet nothing was really done about it. But now they're looking, the police are actually looking into this. Because if she was here last night, you would have seen, and I'll play them again tonight, the TikToks of On the Beach, the incident on the beach, the fight or whatever that was on the feet. Beach, sorry, feet, beach. Uh, so, all right, let's see. Ah, oh, with one Brit volunteer calling the final push to find Jay, nothing more than a PR stunt. Well, I'm sorry. I agree with him. That was a, like, why, if you're asking for volunteers, right, and, but they're asking for volunteers with uh, knowledge and an understanding of hiking and, and those sort of terrains, yeah? They're not asking for people who are just Tom, Harry, Dick, whatever, people who have come over for a holiday or just come over for whatever reason to come and search because they've got no idea how rough that terrain is. So they want qualified, experienced people. And they had six people turn up. And one of them was that TikToker. Adam, whatever. And he, he likes to get up early, if he can. Get up to where he's got to go and start a search. Well, he said he was still st sitting around, standing around at, like, lunchtime. When it's the hottest part of the day. So I can understand him being mad. You know what I mean? It was like it was like a PR stunt in my eyes as well. Now, look what we're doing. We've got these volunteers here. But are you searching? Are you no, because you've just sat around for the whole morning. You've done no searching, right? Uh, the reporters have been there. You've been going, yes, we'll be doing a report soon, a press release soon. We're doing a press release soon. Right? And then the ha half a day is gone. So I can understand why that guy is so annoyed. Because they, they weren't searching. Yes, they've been out there for two weeks. Right? But they, near the end, they weren't searching like they should have been. They are going out too late in the day to do searches. You know what I mean? It's just ridiculous how they was, how they was treating this case. And I'm here. I'm going to see if I can get this bigger for you. I can because I can go to this and I can put myself off the screen. Right? All right, let's go back to the beginning. The world woke up to the news that a near fortnight search for missing British teenager Jay Slater was over. Not quite over. Not quite over. I think, and I'm glad they're doing this. I hope and I believe they are bringing the search down to the south. As declared by Spanish police in Tenerife, the search efforts have swept the globe. 
with thousands sending messages of support, donating money to the cause and following every update as the case is ticked over into his 14th day. But the case has been rocked by online trolls targeting a devastated family and the search efforts have been the focus of scepticism, with one Brit volunteer calling her final push to find Jay nothing like more than a PR stunt. Throughout it all, however, one thing is beyond the doubt, Jay's loved ones want him home, and they won't stop searching. <coughs> they won't stop searching. Ooh, they haven't even started searching, apart from the father and the, and the son, who's been... Who has actually been up to the area? You know what I mean? So they know by looking at that area, they can't go out there searching. They're not capable of that. Perhaps the sun is. You know what I mean? But it's rough. It's rugged. It's it's not easy terrain, right? But the mother and the rest of them, no, they haven't done one search. Right? And I won't stop searching, right? Meaning, keep donating to the GoFundMe. Right? The news that Tenerife Civil Guard, which has been leading efforts to find a 19 year old from Lancashire, announced today, June the 30th, that it was calling off his search for Jace later. The search has involved sniffer dogs, a helicopter, mountain rescue ex experts have been brought to an end. They said officers will continue to act on any tip-offs or other information that came in. But the active work that has been ongoing since June the 17th when the 19-year-old apprentice bricklayer was reported missing will now cease. The major change in this case came less than 24 hours after a final push operation. But to be honest with you, I was asking for people with uh, expertise, some knowledge in hiking and searching those rugged lands. They gave them 24 hours notice. How is anyone, say in the UK or somewhere else, possibly in Europe maybe they could get there within 24 hours, but a lot of these people who are, are out doing their own sort of searches, but these big searches, we offered, the UK offered help for the searches. They offered to send over a search team, and they said no. And then they put a call out, giving them, giving everyone 24 hours. Get the feck. They need to give people more n notice than 24 hours. Most obviously active search on the ground since Jay disappeared, even more so than the first, most crucial hours, crucial hours since he was reported missing. Some 13 days into the search, the Civil Guard held its first press conference ahead of the massive search. But the statements given by the leader of the Civil Guard's mountain rescue efforts lacked detail. When challenged about how 30 rescuers and half a dozen volunteers were going to search the massive search area of around 30 kilometres yesterday, June the 2nd. Is it June the 2nd? Where's it got June the 2nd now? The Civil Guard told reporters, we have already spent days searching. The search we are going to do is going to be around 30 people. So he didn't answer the question. Cipriano Martin, head of the Civil Guards whatever mountain rescue unit, said yesterday from the search scene that the two men Jay spent time with at their, air rent, at their rented Airbnb in Masca had been ruled out of the inquiry, he said. We're a mountain specialist and we're in charge of searching here. And it's the civil guards investigators who have responsible have been responsible for the investigation. Which is true. Those men have been spoken to and they don't have any relevance whatsoever for this case. 
Asked to clarify his words later in the day, civil guard press officer said what he was saying was that the investigators have not found anything pointing to those two people being linked to the disappearance. Okay. And you can see from that picture how rough the terrain is. You know what I mean? It's not like, oh, just walking across the film. You're up, you're going, you're up, you're going. You've got rocks, you've got boulders, you've got fecking cactuses. Cactuses that can rip into your skin, you know what I mean? Come on. The search also attracted criticism from, criticism from volunteers giving their time and effort in treacherous mountainside conditions to help find Clark J. Climat and renowned TikToker Paul Arnott from Bedfordshire said he came straight out after seeing Joe's family issue desperate appeals for assistance after he vanished. Paul, 29, cancelled a charity fundraiser to spend hundreds of pounds on flying to the island, which he did, and joining the search rescue efforts on June the 22nd. Yesterday, he recorded a blistering TikTok video calling the search a massive PR thing before efforts were cancelled just a day later. He broke his silence after days of searching, telling TikTok followers on his account, <coughs> down the rapids. So guys, I've literally been waiting for absolutely ages now. This is a massive PR thing I'm telling you now. I'm going to ask him in a second to take my name off the list. I'm not going to go down there and do my thing. I'm, I'm just going to go down there and do my thing. I'm going to do that now, I think. Because there's people everywhere, literally people everywhere, and nobody's doing anything. Right? Now, he did put out a lot of uh, TikTok as well, and he did mention the family, how they brought him the clothes that he needed, brought him the drinks, the food, everything that he needs. Which is good. I'm glad they did. Christ, they, they took 31,000 out of that GoFundMe, so they've got the money to kick him out. He then asked to be taken off the list of volunteers by the Spanish police, choosing instead to take action and carry out his own searches. Speaking to Spanish police, hey, hey, guys, for the list, this thing, just to cross my, just cross to out. Just cross out, take my name off. Yeah, because I'm going here now. It's too busy. I want to go search. I'm going to search over here because it's ridiculous. So, yeah, guys, I can't deal with this. This is absolutely mad. I've been up here for ages. Yep, there's people everywhere. I've just been just putting it out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, where am I now? I'm, blah, blah, blah. I'm putting it out there now. I'm sick of it. I'm so stressed out. I tell you what, I'm coming down here. I'm going to go get some food because my morning's already been wasted. And then I'm going to crack on a search for Jay in the area where I think he is. I can't deal with this, guys. I've been so quiet about this now. I've been so quiet about this. I'm not doing it anymore. People, I'm sick of this crap. The Civil Guard have been approached for comment on Mr. Arnott's opinion. The videos have been viewed more than 500,000 times on TikTok. Yes, to do so. And they're trying to say, because of that, they're trying to blame him for that, for why the police have stepped down and not doing the search. No. No, because sooner or later, the police will just stop the search anyway. They can't keep searching up their mountains. It's ridiculous. They've got, they've got no scent off the dogs, and the other one. Right? Oh, guys, hi there, everyone. On TikTok, thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're talking about Jay Slater and how they've, the police over there have called the search off. And I do believe they was concentrate on the South. And I truly believe that is where Jay Slater is. If you're going to find anything, it's going to be down there, right? But I don't blame this guy, you know what I mean? 
Paul Long. He's gone out there to help. And he's done some searches on his own. But then he thought, oh, okay, okay, we're going to get a big search going. And they get six people turn up. So we've got like 30 people, 30 to 35 people maybe. And then they just stand around for half the day. How ridiculous is that? So, all right, I'm going to close that. I'm going to pull up my TikTok. I don't like TikTok, but it's been helpful on this case because there have been a lot of, um, hang on, I'll show you down the rapids first. Oh, and there's another one. She's put something out as well. And I feel sorry for her. But we'll talk about that in a minute. I'm, I have to keep clicking on this to follow. Keeps, it won't let me follow. Right. Uh, where is he? Oh, there it is. This is the one I think. Right, hold on. Hold on, let me just share it with you. So this is Paul Arnott from Down the Rapids. I'll put the link again in the description at the end. It was in the description from yesterday. I'll put it in again when I finish. A little scenic bit in the background. I'm not too sure, I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, all the photographers, they're going to make their big announcements. Time is currently 20 to 10 as well, so it's pretty, um, pretty late. Ooh. I think they're standing here because they have a good... Uh, good background from here guys but this is what's happening at the moment everyone was told to me at nine you've got the big mountain rescue guy he's kind of huddled at the front um, and there are bomberos around him so this guy's been out pretty much every single day the guy with the glasses he's in charge of the whole uh, mountain rescue team um, and um, yeah he's been up and down the ridges he's done loads of different stuff and um, he was out with the dogs as well the other day say so um, it was him who was actually out with the dogs with the guys from Madrid, uh, which is quite interesting. But yeah, we'll wait and see you what see happens. See how they're just waiting for this press conference. We'll see what happens. And you'll, we'll you'll see that as well when you stand around. Going, to be honest. The police aren't doing nothing. They're just standing there or sitting in the car. I like just going off and starting searching. I feel like this is a massive waste of time. I feel like it's all about the press and it's not actually about searching right now, guys. I'm not too sure how many volunteers have even turned up. I think there's only about five people. They just handed around a clipboard um, and we had to put our names down on it. And there was like five names on it. So there's like not really many people who have actually um, come, I believe. And they're all pointing. It's all for the cameras, guys. It's all for the cameras. I'm telling you now. Um, I'm going to just start and how it is out here, I think. I think everything's just being for the cameras. I'm going to be real with you guys. I don't think anything's actually been um, I'm not the only one saying this either. It's all for the cameras. It really is. It really is. That's why I've been talking about the social media presence and why I've had to be careful. Um, but yeah, you can literally see what's going on. This is how it is every day. No search and just people talking. Clumps of people talking. It's, it's really starting to be fair. And it really is starting to piss me off now. I'm blaming. Because this is I'll what be I've actually same. been seeing for the last eight days. Clumps of people talking, a couple of people from Mountain Rescue going out, a couple of police going out, and literally everyone else just standing about chatting. I'm going to put it out there and be real. I'm sick of it. I'm absolutely sick of it. And you know what? I'm kind of stressed out now, guys. I feel like just kind of going off and um, searching a different area. I really do. Cause what a waste of time. What a waste of time, eh? What a waste of time, guys. It's ridiculous. This is supposed to be a search. And it's just for the press. It's literally just for the press. 
not actual searches. Everyone's just here for interviews and shit. Absolutely mad. So now people are just like moving, more cameras, more photos, no talk about the actual search though. Where the hell, where is the search? This is supposed to be for search, not for cameras. This isn't a massive PR stuff. This is a 19 year old lad is missing and now every single are, day is. it's the same. You know what I mean? Every single day. All for cameras, all for show. This whole volunteer thing should have happened ages ago, guys. Day one, we all know. It. We yeah. All know it. Almost 10 o'clock now, guys. Almost 10 o'clock. We were supposed to meet at nine. What the hell's going on? Welcome to the reality of the situation in Tenerife. All for cameras, no searching, madness. So guys, they have started to press conference now. Everybody's kind of gathering around, um, up. Right. So I can understand him being mad. He gave up this uh, fundraising thing up in the Highlands, up in Scotland. Good wrong man. Right. Up in Scotland, he gave that up and he was telling people, he was going, how can we help? How can we help you? Like, And he's going, look, don't send donations to me. Send it. And he put the link down. Send it to these people. Right? So if you want to donate, send it to these people. Right? So, guys, I've literally been waiting for absolutely ages now. This is a massive PR thing, I'm telling you now. I'm going to ask them in a second to take my name off the list. I'm just going to go down there and um, and do my thing. I'm going to do that now, I think. Um, yeah, because there's people everywhere. Literally people everywhere, and nobody's doing anything. Hey, hey, guys, for the list, his thing, uh, it says Paul Arnott. Paul Arnott, just cross it out. Take my name off. Yeah, because I'm going here now. It's it's too busy. I want to I want to go search. Paul. Paul. Yeah. But Paul and your surname. Paul Arnold. Paul Arnold. I'm going to search over here because it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Thank you, bro. So yeah, guys, I can't deal with this. This is absolutely mad. I've been up here for ages. Yeah, there's people everywhere. I'm just putting it how it is. Everyone's still in their cars. It's all a big thing. It's all chat, 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 chat. I'm putting it out there now, I'm sick of it. I'm so See, I would have thought, if they're going to plan a big search, yeah, if you're a search organisation, would you not get together the night before with your team leaders, yeah, with team leaders, whatever they do, and say, look, team, team one, you'll be searching here, right? Team two, can you do this? Team three, whatever. And then get it all into place as to they, when they go up there in the morning and the volunteers are there, they can assign. Say they got, I don't know, six volunteers, right? But say they had more than six. They could assign so many to each team leader, yep? Yeah? And that team leader takes his group off to search his area. Right? And so on. Why couldn't? Why don't they do that instead of standing around for hours, saying, "Right, we need, we need you to get five people in each team. We've got five team leaders. We've got twenty-five volunteers. That's five in each team. Five people to each of these guys, please. And then when they've got the five people, say, "Right, follow me. We're going down here and go off and search their area because standing around." And doing nothing doesn't make sense to me. Right? Just does not make sense to me. And I agree with him totally. And then I'm going, I'm going to come off him. And I want to go into... Go up there. And there's, remember that report they had? She actually done, I can get it again. 
See this report here. Right? She got criticised and everything for what she did and she actually put out Then I can find it again. Here it is. This was a day ago she put this out. Uh, first of all, the Snapchat photo by G at 7.30 that morning. And I did question this. I'm like, what on earth is this sort of fab colourful fabric around him? Now, we know, and this is from his friend Brad, who had a phone call with him, and he actually showed him it was the blanket. They'd made up a bed for him in, in this Airbnb that he was sleeping in. Also importantly, the two men that he went to go and stay with, they had met them three days before. They'd hung out with them. They made friends on holiday. It wasn't too... See, I said that. I said that the other night. How do we know that that photo of Jay, because it was a Snapchat, and we know Snapchats, they don't stay up there long, right? How do we know that photo wasn't from a previous morning? Yeah, could have been from any morning. Like, well, here it is. This is a Snapchat we, we got this morning. I've had to screenshot it. I've had to save it. Whatever you have to do to save it. Right? And this is in, at the uh, Airbnb in the morning. Because on Snapchat, when you send photos, we all know they don't stay there. They're literally there for, I don't know how long, a few minutes, if that, and then they disappear. That's what people don't like. A lot of the, the police don't like Snapchat because a lot, a lot of, um, oh, they can't, it's like people say, oh, well, he Snapchat me this photo, but we know, the police know they, the photos don't stay there. It stays there, but it's not there for viewing. It's on the, the Snapchat hard drive, whatever, right? But it's not there for public viewing. And it's really hard to get those photos. So if you send a photo to someone on Snapchat, you've got to, like, screenshot it or save it or whatever. Because otherwise, it's gone. And I said, I reckon... They knew these two guys beforehand. I said it the other day. And she's saying it now. The two random people he'd met that, that night, they'd established a friendship and Brad said they seem like really cool guys. Uh, Jay was just not ready for his night to end. We have all been there where other friends want to go to bed. Hey, let's have one more drink. That was, I believe, his intention for going up to the, the Airbnb. Uh, however, he did communicate to his friends via phone calls or text saying, oh, these guys have just gone to bed. Maybe I'll just come back. Uh, but trying to get back in the middle of the night would have been impossible. Is my so what they're saying is he went up to this Airbnb to carry on this drinking, but apparently when they got there, his, these two guys just went to bed. So why go up there then? The mindset that morning was, you wake up, I just want to get back. That was what he wanted to just get back to his hotel, to his friend. Um, his tone when he was then out walking, he steps over. There's there's big stones, painted stones that border the entire mountain road. It is an extremely dangerous mountain road just to even get up there. It's, uh, first of all, the Snapchat photo by Jay at 7.30 that morning. And I did question. Well, that's only part of the interview. I haven't been out. Uh, there was a, the interview was a lot longer. But, you see, people have been having a go at her for going over there. Now, she wasn't planning on going over there. She'd done an interview with this morning or whoever it was she, she does the, interview, the news for. And she did a lot of research online, being as she was in England, about this case. And she was talking about it. And the mother, seeing her, seeing her talking, and got in touch with the, the, uh, the news people and said she trusts her and would she come over. So she literally gets on a flight 
packs a few things in a bag, gets on a flight and goes over there. She had no plans on going over there. She went over there just to show, and I'll show you the one where she's showing you this. Just to show the route it took and it was the hazards. After half past seven on the 17th of June, that Jay Slater was standing on these steps and he took a photo for Snapchat and you can see the pattern of the steps here. He then goes to the bus stop. It's just here. So he's then standing at this bus stop and he meets the owner who I've just spoken to, the owner of the, the restaurant in the Airbnb, and he asks her, when's the next bus? She indicates this, which means 10 o'clock, so you had a two-hour wait. And instead of going down this way, which would have been the way back to Los Cristianos, although a very long walk, he walks up the hill. She explained to me he was walking at a good pace and she then passed him in the car about 15 minutes later, further up this hill. I'm just retracing Jay's steps that he took that morning. So the owner of the Airbnb said she passed him about 15 minutes after she saw him at the bus stop. So I'm going to follow that for about 15 minutes and see how far I get. So you can see the road is just there. And if you're a young lad wanting a shortcut, you're hungover, you want to get back to your friends, it is conceivable that you could come off the road and try and cut up. Now, this looks a bit crazy. However, there is sneaky little paths all along the mountainside, such as this. Now, I've just tried clambering up. It's not easy. It's sliding. It's easier to go up than it is to go down. But this is really, really dense bush, cacti, you could easily end up falling and being hidden somewhere very close by. It was at this time after half past seven. Right, so she goes there and she does this interview just to show the route that he took and how, what what he could do and all this stuff. Right? And she was getting slandered for this by people, you know what I mean? She wasn't out there to do the search. You know, oh, oh, God, my. She wasn't out there to do the search or anything. And she's getting slandered. And then, what happens? This. Why? Right? While she's there, she did this interview. On the phone, and he goes, I'm not walking down all around that road. And he's gone over a little bit, like a little, not a big drop, just a little tiny little drop, and he's going down the. He goes, I'll ring you back, I'll ring you back. I think someone else was ringing him. And he'll get you probably, if, if thinking like me, you would have went back up and started walking around the path again. He wouldn't have gone all that way down there. So you said that you could see his feet and he was actually sort of sliding down the hill. Like you could hear the rocks. Yeah, he was, that's how I knew he, were, he went off the road. Because you mm -hmm. could hear like, if, when you walk on gravel or whatever it is, you can, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, it's stones. Mm -hmm. Were you concerned at that point? Not at the time, no, because we were both like laughing about it. I think he said, Look where I am. I we just, I just come out of a festival myself. He just come out of the festival himself at, at what? I time in the morning. 7 30, I time in the morning. Did you not leave the festival with him? Because apparently he left with those two guys, and someone said, A report said, did someone not try, did his friends not try and stop him? And he said his friends had left him. As I said last night, his friends once again trying to distance themselves from this case. Right? Now, this interview here with that lad, I'm calling BS on that. Why wait 10? Ten days or more to come out forward and say something. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Right now, let's go to Google Maps because oh God, I've just clicked off it. I've not. Oh, going to it again. Because I've got the places he was, he was key places to look at, right?
Oh, I need opens up. Right. Come on now. Right, we'll go to where he was is a part he was actually staying, which was round town, Las Cristianas. Right? Like the terrain, so, right? Las Cristianas. Okay, looks very barren round there as well. So it looks like it's in, there's a lot of work going on round there, maybe. I don't know, but it looks very barren. And the last place he was seen was. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Papa go uh, <laughs> Papa. Here. Here. This is where he was last seen. And that's quite a distance. Wow. Well, from there to there. It's not that far, I suppose, but... Right, so he was last seen here. And we're going to go down to there. Because this right, fascinates me. Right. Now, this is the last place he was seen here, outside this, by this bar, whatever. Right? And apparently this was where there was uh, some argument or something about a watch being stolen. Now, it's a bit funny that the last place he was seen was here, and this is where an argument is started about a watch. And then that little video comes out on TikTok. Hold on, I've got to share the tab, sorry. I forgot to share the tab. Right? So he's here. Right? He's here. Last place he was seen was here. And he was having an argument. There was an argument going on about some watch. Now, is this where that photo, that video was took from? Was they over here on the beach having the argument? Right? I don't know. I don't even know if that video is them. But, in my opinion, I think that beach argument, possibly the beach argument and the fight, makes more sense to me than him going off with these two guys that he met just a few, two days ago to go and carry on partying. Right? This makes more sense. So, what happened after here? Yeah. Now, look, there's this. I think this is like an overflow thing for if they have bad storms from the mountains because the water will just run down. And this is like their overflow. But look, I wouldn't say he's been dumped here, anywhere in there. But look at this. Right, what about these places? Has anything like this been searched, looked at?
Because you can get down there from there and you can get down there from the beach. <coughs> So have they even looked in these places right yet? Any little drainages and all that where, like where a body could probably be put? There'd be a nasty smell coming from me. But sometimes people get a smell and they think, oh, that's bad drains. You know what I mean? Oh, that, that drainage is bad. <coughs> so they wouldn't even think about it. I'm just saying, this is the last place he was seen. This place. There was that video of the argument being took from there, from these places. You know what I mean? Over here. Could have been over here somewhere. And that's why you can't see it very clearly. Or was it took from one of these? Was it someone in one of these places that's seen the argument going on? I think it's somewhere along the, uh, one of these places that video was took from. If it was this beach, it'd be somewhere along here. Right? Because, let's have a look. See if we can get down there. Right. Let's go along. We like our little Google Maps, don't we? Right. So it could have been one of these apartments overlooking the beach. Not going to let me go any further. So I I truly believe that could be the beach the argument was on. And the video was taken from somewhere around here. Somewhere along here. Just my opinion. But that makes that argument or thing on the beach makes more sense. Now it says, oh, I'm wrong. Now you see a guy, one guy limping away. But who's on the ground? Who is on the ground? Let's see if I can find that, that again. I know, I might be, I'm going to take Google Maps off. Take this off, though. Uh, go on to YouTube. Who's on the ground on, the, on that beach? We know Jay's there because it's her voice. Right? Let's have a look. Let's see what we come up with on YouTube. Because I've been searching YouTube. And I swear to God, that Facebook page they set up, I join those pages because some a lot of the times you can get some good information off it. No, that page is just... To, Really have a go at Jay, to have a go at the parents, to have a go at whoever. Right? And you're not, we're not getting any information. Oh, I know. Uh, who would it be? Who's that? Um, who's that one? Have I got it in my downloads? Because I'm going to save something to my downloads. Uh, 
É... Ich gebet. As the Spanish authorities announced this morning that they are now starting a massive manhunt and search for the missing teenager, Jay Slater, who's 19, who went missing on the island of Tenerife, we asked the question why vital CCTV footage from the beach that could indicate and show Jay Slater and Lucy May Law was not released to the public. Welcome back to the channel Just Gone Viral and thank you for joining me in another video. In this video we'll bring you an update with regards to the disappearance of Jay Slater and we also bring you hidden CCTV footage that has not been shown to the public that could have aided and abetted in finding Jay Slater. We will also take a look at the local news in regards to surrounding speculation and theories that you aren't allowed to talk about and be branded trolls, whereas the mainstream media can. Yeah. He apparently went off with two guys, British guys, these people mm. are mysterious, said to be black guys in their 30s. Uh, and uh, they went to their place, allegedly, which is this villa in a very remote part of the northern part of the island. Yeah. Uh, the following morning at 8 a.m., he rang his friend Lucy and said uh, he he left the house. He missed the bus. There was a bus back yeah. there, and he was going to walk, uh, but his phone was running out of power. He cut his leg on a cactus. And... Lucy May, the friend of Jay Slater, said in an interview that when she spoke to Jay Slater on the phone, he made her aware that he had cut his leg on a cactus. But was this the real reason for his injury to his leg, and was she hiding something else? CCTV footage has now been found and released, and it explains why Jay Slater's leg could have been injured. As the days go by, the theories surrounding Jay Slater involved in narcotic dealing and him losing a bag for which he needed the £30,000 from the GoFundMe to replace seems to be more true. The reason that I say this theory seems to be more true is because from the evidence of the CCTV footage and the voices heard, it seems to support the claim that Jay Slater may have been wounded in the leg intentionally via a stabbing as a warning to go and get the money. I don't think it was a warning. No, I don't think it was a warning. I think it, there was a fight and it was about a watch, something that was stolen. I really do. Right, because you also hear us say, give us a bag get or get the bag. She needs that bag. Now, if that if they was there, why would she say that? They'd have had the bags, wouldn't they? Right. So, I think it was an argument between someone else. And I think that both, there's two people who got injured. One got stabbed in the leg, who we saw hobbling off. And one got stabbed and was on the ground. And that was what we saw on the beach, that person sitting on the ground with Jay. Right? This is just my opinion. It just makes more, more sense than them going off into the hills. 
Now you might ask, how did this pink phone ping from up there? Right. Right, we're going to go at this. Right. Um... Let's go up to where this phone pinged, okay? Now, everyone was saying his phone pinged from this area, right? Proud real detainer. Pardon me, I can't pronounce the words. Right? was in there somewhere. Now, I'm being told that man is going to go there, that the phone was pinging From here. From here. Round here. Right from here. Round here. Let's see if I can get closer. From round here. Right from round here. Because that's where they've been concentrating their searches around here. But. They've also right, been concentrating the searches around here. Right, all around here. So I'm oh, sorry, forgot to share it to the tab. I'm so sorry. Right, so this is where they say his phone was pinging from. But first of all, we was told it was in this area. Right, and they had searched that area as best as they could. Right, as far as I know. Then I've heard the phone was pinging from this area, from around town. And so, I know that's where the rapid guy was looking as well. Because as he's going on one search, he come across a little house. Right now, I'm wondering, could that have been the little house he was seeing? And he was on his one search, this little house here, sweet home, little village, begging a lot of sweet home masker, it's like a little bed and breakfast thing. Yeah, could that have been where his phone was pinging from round there? You know, if that's the case, those two guys could have took his phone, they was up that way and dumped his phone there. Or now, I believe the rapid guy is now concentrating his search in this area. Because of what his friend says. How he's seen him go off the road. He's walk, you could hear him walking on like dirt track, gravel. Right? So I think this is where he's searching. Been going to concentrate his search. But I do know that they have searched these ravines. This ravine, all these ravines I've searched to their best ability, to what they can get to and whatever. So all these ravines have been searched. But I think he's now searching, concentrating his search around here because of what that lad said. But I think they're on the wrong track because I truly believe that 
I need to be searching around this way. All around this water edge. Now this is something the family could do. It's not rocky. It's a beach. So come on, go off your backside. You've got all your friends and family over there. You've got his ex-girlfriend over there. Come on. Right? Get out there and start looking around these beaches. I think if I'll be able to get down there. Let's have a look. I should be able to get here. Right, start searching these areas. I wouldn't say he's on land. If he's on land, he's hidden. He's hidden if he's on land. Or he's been buried. Right? One or two. But if that was Jay limping off, right? Which I don't think it was. I think it was someone else. I think they're both having an eye on them. Right, I think they're both had knives, and Jay managed to injure one, and the other guy injured him. But I think Jay fatally got injured. Just my opinion. Right, so this is where they need to start looking. Along these beaches. Right, along here. Uh, what was that beach? Hang up by the beach club. Up by the beach club. Oh, McDonald's fast food. Oh, heaven. Heaven. Right. This place here. Because... Uh, that place gets mentioned a lot. And this place here. So, all the way up here. I'd say up to how far could they carry someone in a state they're in. I don't think he's I think, I hate to say this, I think they put him in the water. I really do. So was it that beach the argument was on, or was it this beach? Right, let's see. What's the view like down there? Right. Yeah. Where am I? Right, loads of apartments. There's the beach. There's the palm trees. So could it be on this beach where they... Oh, there's the umbrellas on the beach. So could it be in this beach that the argument was seen? And where would that have been took from? Maybe one of these apartments over here? Because it looked like a distance away. Right. Could have been one of these apartments. But there's the umbrellas, which we see in that video. Where is it? No, no, that is the one. That is not the one. Right, this one. Well, I'll put the link to this guy in my see the umbrellas a bit. It's on a curve. It's on a curve. Right. Let's just watch. Right. 
Right, it's on a third. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. It's definitely this part, I'd say, because of the beds and the umbrellas. Right? But there's like a curve. So could it have been round here? So here. Right? But it could be anywhere along that beach. And I definitely reckon I need to start searching them areas. Because I just had that funny feeling that that was not... It didn't feel right, if you know what I mean. That he would go off with two guys they just met, didn't know that well. Which I said, no, how do we know they didn't meet them before? How do you know he wasn't at that place before? He probably was, and that's where that Snapchat picture come from. I don't think that Snapchat picture came from Monday morning. I think it came from another day. Right, and this is just their story putting together now. And the fact that he said he was... Uh, video calling or whatever and at what, 8 o'clock in the morning? Well, 8 o'clock in the morning or half 7, quarter to 8, he was still at the house. Half 7 to 8 o'clock, he was still at that uh, apartment because the woman said she saw him about 8 a.m. And Lucy says she gets a phone call off him at 8.30. 8.15, 8.30, 8.50. Make your mind up, Lucy. Which one is it? 8.15, 8.30 or 8.50? Right? So, I think his friends need to be spoken to a lot more. Because something is not right. They know more. And to be honest with you, if I was his mother, I'd be getting him out of there. I would be getting my son out of that situation. I really would. Because <clears throat> apparently he only come and spoke. Because apparently that interviewer was, didn't want to force the mother to do an interview. Right? She didn't want to force him. So she got his best friend to do an interview but instead. But why come out with that information now? That could have helped the police, what, 12, 4, 12, 13 days ago. That was information the police could have acted on. Could have had a better knowledge of a search, and that's where Paul Long is going now. But I still don't. If his body's up there, it's because they have put his body up there. Right? So that if they did find him and they found a cut on him, a knife wound or whatever, they could say, well, told you, he told us he cut himself on a cactus plant. You know what I mean? So could they put his body up there? Possibly. They had the car. They had a car. But then again, would they have been able to stop any blood from blood transfer, getting from the car, from him to the car? And whatever. I don't know. I don't know, but I know he's not. His body may be up there now, but he wasn't up there that morning. He was not up there that morning. This is just a story. They've all concocted together to distance themselves. Yes, he was here, but he came back in at 8 o'clock and said he was going home. Never saw him again. You know what I mean? They've got no proof that he wasn't there. Right? They've got a Snapchat picture of him standing on their porch. But as I said, that could have been took the day before. That could have been took Saturday morning. Sunday morning. 
Ngọ mẹn Cứ bình chúc anh ít thôn Chú ở đây ôm ngọ Chai kinh chú mục chinh chạy snap chạy photo ôm nguyên ngọ And the fact that his friends has just come out now and said Oh well we's having a video call And I see I know we went off road I could Did you see him go off road then? Well I heard him And things like that and I'm thinking no, 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 no. But apparently Paul Arnott is now searching, Paul Arnott is now searching those areas. Right? So, but he said, what time did you say he phoned him? Um, let's see if I can get this up again. Let's listen to this again. Right. Let's have a look. Right now. Oh God. Let's get where he was down as Las Cristianas, right? So from Las Cristianas directions. Masca. Okay. Now that's a 10 hour 34 minute walk, which is what, 40 minutes away? Driving is 40 minutes, but he's saying 50 minutes. So, I can give a 10 minutes on that, that could be anywhere up here. Where was it, someone said, uh But as, as his friend said, if he, if it's that only 15 minutes, why didn't he go, just get a taxi? I know I've I've gone to I went to all night parties. I did. And but mine were local. Mine were local. And we'd be walking home in the morning as people was going out to work. <laughs> right? But it was walking distance. Now if I was 40 minutes away, it'd be bugger that. I'm getting a taxi. I'm getting a taxi home. You know what I mean? I can't even remember how, how I got home from this one night party now. I can't remember if you come home on the bus because that was quite a distance away. That was uh, a long distance, a bus ride and whatever away. So I think we come back by bus because by the time we all woke up again, it was like getting up and going am 10 a.m. in the morning. So, and we was all hungry. So we raided my friend's kitchen. <laughs> I had something to eat and then made our way home. But I think we did all come up. We all come up together, right? Because we all lived by each other. So we all caught a bus or something like that. I can't remember. I think we we would have caught a bus. We wouldn't have walked home from there. That was too far to walk, right? But I have been to all night parties where it was walking distance, and we would walk. It's still a bit of a distance, but we did walk it. But like, if that had been like me, 40, 40 minutes drive away, I'd have jumped in a taxi. But then why didn't you wait for the bus? 
And why was he going the wrong way? That's what don't make sense to me. Why did he not wait for the bus? It like, wasn't like the guys were saying, oh, you've got to get out, you've got to get out, apparently. He went back in and said, I want to go back home, I'm leaving. Grabbed his stuff, got dressed, whatever, and went back home. And they didn't see him again. But I think they've got something to do with the phone. I really do. Let's have a look. Somewhere else, I yeah. Uh, but what I can't understand now is why was the saying the phone was pinging here, right round here? Right, or oh, was it round here somewhere? Whatever. But, yeah, round here somewhere. But they're like now saying his phone was pinging from, like, here, you know what I mean? So it just doesn't make sense why he would go there. So, yeah, I will definitely. Looking at these beaches round here. Right, where he was last seen, which was up here. Where was it now? Uh, Papi. Where was he? Oh, where he was last seen here, sorry. I'd be looking round all this way. Fine. Because sometimes if a bug is put in water, right, he might find articles of clothing that may have come off him, like his top or his shorts or his trainers. I'd be looking around there for things like that. And this is something, something the family and all their friends could do. So instead so of sitting in your hotel room, moaning about the Spanish police, not doing the job and by the Spanish police, cancelling the search, the Spanish police and all that, have done all they can. We knew it would come to an end sooner or later. We knew it couldn't go on forever. But it doesn't help when you do have an, uh, an ex-copper coming, who's now an inspect, uh, detective or inspector. What an investigator. Coming and say, if I get the information, I can solve this case in three days. How does that make the Spanish police feel? You know what I mean? If I was the Spanish police, I'd be going, oh, so you can do it in three days? Go ahead. Go ahead. And I would just plonk my bum on a chair in an office and say, go ahead. Do it. If you can do it in three days, do it. Because it'll save us time and us money and our resources, you know, just do it. But then you've got this guy here, right, giving a different account now to what Lucy was, well, they've both got different stories. Well, they've both got the same story in one way. They're both saying he was up in the mountains. Right? He's saying that he heard him walking on uh, gravel, stones, dirt, whatever. But how would he know he would go down where? How would he know? Right? How would he know that he would go down here? 
hai bức tranh nhói ra ôm chai anh hè có phim kinh nghiệm của cross xe không ngọt chuyện nhạc gan xe lịch sắp hai bức tranh nhói hiệu cờ trái anh hè ổ cờ trái nè hai bức tranh nhói ra he heard him on chair and gravel but oh john i'm sure if i can see me right oh god where am i look if i zoom in here look it could have been standing there could have been walking around there for all you know that's dirt and gravel and whatever he could have been pacing back and forth on there. Right? But how would you know? Oh, let's try and get a better view. Better angle. This is where that woman said, that reporter said, you can try and climb up that way, round here. There's little nooks and crannies. But it's all very slippy. But how would you know? That he was going down, he would go down there. You wouldn't, would you? Following well, those, he could have been walking along here. So, how would he know his friend would go down there? Because if he's like me, he'd make his way back up. Right? So how would you know? Was it you there on the Monday morning that the woman saw? Right? Was it him that the woman saw? And then did Lucy May come and pick him up? It doesn't make sense why. It's a bit like the Sebastian Rogers case, right? When the mother goes, I don't know why he went out that door. Why that door? Why not the garage door? Why not the back door, the veranda, the sunroom door? You know what I mean? Why that door? Right? And she's adamant that. And even the stepfather who wasn't there, his argument he went out at that door. That's just a smoke screen to me. That's saying, you want us to focus on him leaving that door and not focus on any other part of the house. And this is what this is. That interview that lad did, it's him wanting us to focus on the fact that Jay has gone off off road Jay's well, gone off road I'm trying to get a good view here Paul Gone off road into an area like this Yep Why would you do that? Why? How would you know he would do that? He was going off road just because you heard gravel under his feet. As I said, when he found you, he could have been down here. Move it again. Here. Could have been here. Could have been there when he was apparently video calling his friend. Right. Now that I'll have a record of a video call. Yeah. To his phone. All right. But that could have been him doing the video call from Jay's phone to his phone and just making out. You know what I mean? Because you wouldn't see a video, you just see a time. It's like a phone call, you just see the time 
and it'll come up video call or whatever it does, you wouldn't see the video. But how did he how would he know he would go down he wouldn't go down there? If he's like me, he'd come back up to the road. How did you know he'd gone off? Just because he's, you could hear dirt and gravel on under his feet. As I said, he could have been here when you phoned him. Could have been there. But I don't think he was there. Not alive anyway. Sorry to say this. I know I'm all doom and gloom. But I do not think he was alive. I think he was unalive on that beach, in that fight. There's another guy involved. Right? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, leaving you rubbish there. Oh, yeah, someone's house. So they leave the... Right, okay. Thinking, just thinking that was an odd place to leave you rubbish. So, how would you know? It's like, okay, you're telling us he's gone off on the dirt track. He's gone off on a path down the hill. Right. Lucy's telling us he must have been off the road because he got cut by a cactus and it was really sore and all this like. But I think if they found his body sooner, they'd know that the cut was not made from a cactus. Because you can tell when a cut... These people who do the investigation and all this, like the forensics and all that, they can tell when a cut is from a knife or from a cactus plant. They can tell. Right? So that... By not finding his body so soon yet... I don't think they know, unless it is caught a bone. Unless it is caught a bone. Like sometimes a knife can chip, catch a bone as it goes in. So, it's, it's just, hmm, annoying. Because you got Lucy May, who we said straight away was lying. She was hiding something. She was distancing herself from the from Jay. I left early alone. She was distancing herself. Then you've got his friends saying. Then we heard someone say, "Next time I hear, I'm going to clip it and I'll save it." And they said, "Where was? Why didn't his friends stop him?" Oh, his friends had gone. So his friends had left him outside that nightclub or whatever. Yeah. And then he decides to go with those two guys. Who well, they're making out they hadn't met before. And really they had. They had met them before. Because Brad said so. Brad said they'd met them before. They'd known them. So, they knew exactly where they lived, because they'd been there before. So, these two guys that are now back in the UK, they're not going to come forward. They're not. I will be gobsmacked if they come forward, walked into a police station and said, um, well, the two British guys that was over in Tenerife when... Jay Slater went missing. I understand um, such and such wants to talk to us. You know what I mean? Or even get in touch with that investigator. I can't see them doing that. Because they've got something to hide as well. As far as I'm concerned, they told the police, yes, Jay, Jay came back to his. Jay went out for a smoke in the morning. Come back in and said he was going home. Got his stuff. Walked out, never saw him again. That was it. Right? So, 
And like, they've got no proof against them to say anything different. They've got nothing to say, but that didn't really happen, did he? Sort of thing. We know Jay did this, or we know Jay did that. So what you're telling us isn't adding up. They had nothing to go on. So they've let them go home. They was coming back on the Monday, so they let them fly home. Coming back on the Monday or Tuesday, they was coming home. So they had they had no nothing to hold them on. Then I understand Lucy flew back a few days later. After she did all her little interviews and got her story out there about Jay phoning her when really she phoned him. As Brad just sort of told us because he said he was on he said, I'll have to phone you back because I believe there was someone phoning him. And that was Lucy. Why? So, why would you think someone would hold on as well? Just because he's on a video call to someone, to you, and then he goes, I'll have to phone you back. Where does that mean it was, um, someone else was phoning him? That could mean I'll have to phone you back because I'm getting a bit, I'm, tr I'm trying to get back up the hill. Or I'll have to, I'll phone you back. You know what I mean? And that's when he cut the call off and tried to get back up the hill. It could mean 101 things as to why he said, I'll phone you back. It doesn't necessarily mean he's got another incoming call. So how would he know he had an incoming call? Hmm, my mind is working overtime at the moment. Hi there, everyone, again. Thank you for joining me tonight. If you like what you hear and see, please give me a little love heart on X and a, a like on YouTube. Please consider, if you're on X, coming over to YouTube and subscribing to my channel, where, because eventually there will be times where I may not go live on Twitter. I may just stay on YouTube, you know what I mean? And then just post a video later on on Twitter. So please consider joining me on YouTube and subscribing. It doesn't cost you a penny, but it makes me very happy. So what do you all think, right? Me, I'm going back to here. I'm going back to, oh, God, why do I keep doing that? I'm going to go back to Los Cristianos. Well, no, no, not even there. I'm going back to... Here, the last place he was seen alive. Last place he was seen. Here. Right? Because I think it was this place that was holding the after party, like the party for the after party thing. I think it was this place that was holding that after party thing. So that was the last place he was to see. So where did he go from there? If that video of that film is to be correct, then he could have gone. He could have been making his way back to his hotel room. Which is where, from there, it could have gone back to, hold on, we'll go here. I'm going here, but this isn't where his hotel room is, right?
I'm going here because this is like where that video was took, I believe. And it could have been along here. Because see that kit? See, I said in that video there was a, like a curve of thing. Could have been here, the argument. Could have been along here. Around here somewhere. So he could have been making his way back. Oh, God. But I definitely think this is the beach. <coughs> that <coughs> argument was filmed on. I definitely believe that. Because it's at a distance, and before you see them, you see all these little hook things, these little beach shelters. Right? So it's definitely along that beach, I think. So I think he was making his way back. Because he was actually staying over here. So he could have been making his way back from there. From there, he could have been making his way home. You know what I mean? Back to his hotel room or apartment. Because it may look a long way, but believe me, it probably isn't. might only be like a 10, 15 minute walk. And when you've had a few to drink, you don't care, do you? How long it is, you don't notice it. So he's probably making his way back. When he's got caught up in a fight over here. But I'd definitely say they need to keep looking on it. And this is where the family could come in now. The family and all their little tag-ons the ones they've paid to fly over, could get their feet on the ground and have start searching the rocks around the water. Right? Start searching around there. Because the searchers aren't looking, unless they do do a search around there, I don't know. But I hope they do. Because I wonder how long it'll be once they start searching there that Brad stays in Tenerife. I wonder how soon it is before his mum flies him out. When they start searching that beach area, those beaches and those rocks, I wonder how soon it is before Brad is on a plane flying out of there. Because once he's in the UK, they can ask him for him to come back, but he doesn't have to go back. Doesn't have to go back. All right, so we'll see what happens over the. This is a short version to, compared to what I normally do. So we'll see what happens over the next day or so if the search goes go there. But I think this is the time now where the family, they've got the time to get out there to these places on the beach line, ran by there and have a look. Start looking. Right? Get your feet walking on them sands. Take your shoes off, walk along the sand. Come on. But start looking along that way. And any uh, areas where like the overflow systems, the water overflow from the mountains. Have a look along them places. Because they they haven't looked round there. They've only been looking in the mountain because that's where his phone pinged. But as I said, those two guys could have took his phone up there, drove a bit further up and just thrown it out the window. You know what I mean? And as for that woman seeing him the next morning, that could have been his friend, Brad. And that's when Lucy's come and picked him up and got him back down there. 
You know what I mean? It could have been anyone. Because they all look alike at that age. They've all got the same haircut. They've all got... Oh. Like, I was watching some of the festival, the music festival, the video of the music festival, as it was ganging along the front by the stage. And I noticed three, four, five, six guys with, who looked so like Jay because of his hairstyle and everything. So I think, God, oh, so many look like each other. So we'll see. We'll see what happens in the next few days. Let's see how long Brad is over there for. Hmm? Who's with me on that one? Who thinks as soon as the police start searching the beaches and the overflow systems, the water overflow for the rain and all that lot, who thinks Bragg is going to be there very long after that? I don't think so. I think his mother will have him on the next playing out. And if she doesn't, then she's a fool because he knows a lot more than what he's saying. I believe Lucy is left. But then again, she can't afford to not leave because her job is going to all these different beach resorts, all these music festivals. Her, that's her job. She's 19 and yet she could go on all these nice holidays. Yeah, of course she can. She gets paid big books. She's not actually taking anything in and out of a country. She goes to a country, they give it her, she sells it, she gives it them back at the end of the night or at the end of the whatever. You know what I mean? So she's not taking it across borders. She might be selling it there, but she's not bringing it in and out of countries. That's how she gets to go on all these nice holidays. Anyway, it's an early one for me tonight. I am tired as well. But I think they, by not doing the search up in the mountains, I think that uh, if they do find him up in the mountains, it's because he was put there. This is just my opinion. I believe he was put there. I don't think he was ever up there. I think it's a whole storyline for us to believe he was up there, so it took the attention away from where he should, they should, should have been looking. Now, in my eyes, they should have been looking around these places from day one. From day one. Right? Just because his phone pinged up in the mountains, and apparently they had a Snapchat picture of him from in the morning. And apparently they had a phone call of him saying he was on 1% battery and he cut his leg on a cactus and he had no water. They went up in the mountains. I think they've wasted their time, their resources, right? I feel sorry for the family because they are being lied to. And I think if I was a mother, I'd be getting old like Brenda. What the feck happened? Tell us the truth. He knows. He knows what happened. So does Lucy. And what about his other friend that he's with? Where's he? Didn't he go with two friends? Where's his other friend? Or has he come home? Why would you leave your friend as well? Why wouldn't you all stay together? I know you're 19, but they do, and you're lads, and they do say to women, stay together. If you go out together, stay together. You know what I mean? But that also applies to guys as well. If you go out together, stay together. Make sure you get home. It's a bit like Riley Strain. He goes out with his friends. He gets kicked out of a pub. By the time his friends get out of the pub, he's, just, he's going off somewhere. They didn't bother looking for him to try and find out where he'd gone. They didn't even check in on the night time when they got home or in the morning when they got home. They didn't check till much later in the day to find that he wasn't there. That is what you call 
friends. And this is what you call, Jai Slater calls friends. How they have all distanced themselves from Jai. So I hope they do do searches around them areas, I really do. It needs to be searched, all them waterways, everything needs to be searched. If Paul Arnott wants to carry on doing the searches up in the mountain, then fair enough, let him do that. That's what he's qualified to do. Why? Because if the bug, if Jay is up there, then he was put there. He did not go up there willingly. He did not go up there on his own accord. He was put there. Something happened on that Sunday night, early Monday hours, in the early hours of the Monday morning. Something happened on that beach. Now, if I was the police, I'd be calling Bragg backing. I'd be calling Lucy backing. But, oh, they're not in the country no more. Apart from Bragg. Okay? Lucy's gone. I don't know if his other friend is gone. The two guys in the Airbnb have gone. They're not going to come forward now, are they? Oh, no. Oh, no, we're out of there. They probably got on that plane for Thank God we're out of that. You know what I mean? So, I'm glad they left stopped the search up in the mountains because that was a waste of resources. I've always thought that. I've always said there's no way he was up there. No way. It just didn't make sense to me that he would be up there. And the fact that they said he went off for two, two guys, he only just met, you know, I said, for all we know, he could have met these two guys earlier on, and he, he's only there from the Friday, Thursday or Friday. So he could have met him Friday at the rave, at the music festival, you know what I mean? And apparently they'd met him a few days, a couple of days before. So, yes, they did know these two guys. They did know them. So, that picture now of him standing on the steps could be any day. Could have been. I don't know what day he went there. I don't know if he flew over on the Thursday. You know what I mean? Maybe for the Friday. So, it could have been Saturday morning. It could have been Sunday morning. That photo could have been took. And as I said, that uh, Ophelia, whatever her name is, the owner of a business next door to the Airbnb, she said she spoke to Jay. Well, it could look like Jay, all the kids look alike. It could have been Brad, it could have been his other friend, for all we know, because his other friend isn't there, I don't think, no more. I think his other friend has come home. I don't know. We haven't heard about his other friend. Right? We don't know where he is. We don't know if, I don't know if he's still there or if he's come home. So, we'll wait and see. So, anyway, thank you, everyone, on Twitter for being here. And on YouTube, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's an early night for me. I am tired. And my alarm will be going off in a minute to tell me to take my tablet. So I'm going to go, and I will be back tomorrow, see what updates we've got on this. Hopefully, they will be starting their searches around there. But if not, let's see if the family can get off their backsides and start searching these beaches. And they think we're having a go at the family. What have they done? Please, just tell me what has have that family done. The father's been out there. He's been up in the hills. He's been putting flyers out. What has the rest of the family done? Oh, I can't. I can't go there in case, you know, that's the last place he was. Oh, give me a break, woman. You his mother. Get your backside out there looking for your son. You flew all the way over there. And you go out there and find him. Get on them beaches and start combing the rocks around them beaches. 
and he caves around them beaches, the waterways, and he tunneling, and he overflow tunnels, anything. Looking them, have a look. Don't just bang your head and go, oh no, I can't see nothing. Get a fucking torch and shine torches into them fucking tunnels. And start looking. You're not up on the mountains there, you're on the beach, you're on the flat ground. So all you and your friends and your family can get out there and start searching. I feel sorry for the father. Oh, that's my alarm going off. Oh, God. Right, I feel sorry for the father. He's the one who's been boots on the ground. No one else. So I'm going to leave it at that and hopefully the family will start looking now. Now that the search is on, perhaps the family will. And let's hope they look in the right area around by the beaches. Because if they don't, if they start looking up on the mountains still, I'd be going, why? Why, when the last place he was seen was at this place, why are you up there when you should be looking around here? This is the last place he was seen. You know what I mean? Start at ground zero, the last place he was seen. Not up at Maz Masca. Because even though the woman said she saw him, I don't think she saw Jay. I really don't. But I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it at that. Let you have all your own opinions. Remember, do your own research. Do not reply, re rely on me. Because my research is crap sometimes. But I'm writing other ways. I can be right on some points. So anyway, I'd just like to say thank you everyone for being here. I really, really do appreciate you. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night.